Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to be learning how to remove backgrounds from photographs using the background eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop. Let's jump right in. So let's begin by launching Photoshop and opening up the photos that you want to edit. If you have your own photos, feel free to use those and take the techniques and methods that I teach today. The photo I'll be using is just a free photo from Unsplash and the link for this photo can be found in the description below. Something to remember with the background eraser tool is that it works best with flat color backgrounds. It struggles with color variation or texture in the photograph, so just be aware that this might not be the tool for you. Once you've got your photo loaded into Photoshop, let's head to the layers panel. First, I'm going to unlock my photo and going to change the name from layer zero to photo. Next, I'm going to head to the add new layer and I'm going to drag that below my photograph and name that layer background. Now with your new background layer selected, let's head to the fill color and change it to something bright. I'm going to use a bright yellow. Head to the paint bucket tool or hit G on your keyboard and fill your canvas with your new bright color. This is going to make it way easier to see what we've removed from our photograph once we start using our background eraser tool. So let's begin removing our background. Head to the layers panel and make sure that you're working on the photo layer and then head to the eraser tool in your tool panel. Click and hold the eraser tool and choose the background eraser tool. The shortcut for this will now be E on your keyboard. Before we get started, head to the top of the screen and let's take a look around the different background eraser settings. The settings I'll be using for my background eraser tool are sample once, contiguous, protect foreground color, and the only thing that you might have to adjust depending on your photograph is the tolerance. I've got mine set at about 40%, but you might find better results with a higher or lower tolerance. Now that we have all of our settings ready, hit E on your keyboard to access your background eraser tool. And remember that you can decrease the size of your brush with open square brackets and an increase with closed square brackets. Left click and hold on the background to sample that color and then whilst holding, drag around the background, removing that color and replacing it with the yellow. Work your way closer to the subject until you have a nice defined edge between the subject and the yellow background, and then slowly work your way through any intricate details like hair. If your tolerances are set too high, you might start removing some of your subject. So just hit undo and reduce your tolerances until you find that perfect balance. If you have any intricate parts of the photo that you'd like to remove the background from, like hair for example, feel free to zoom in and reduce the brush size. Really, the more time you spend on this, the better the results. But the results after a short time can be fantastic if you have the right balance of settings. I recommend pausing the video here and doing the same if you're following along at home. Great, now that I'm happy with my photo, I'm going to head to the layers panel and I'm going to turn off our yellow background layer. As you can see, the tool has done a great job removing the background from the different strands of hair and now we can even save this as an image on a transparent background. Just like the thumbnail, I'm now going to place an image of a brick wall in the background. If you'd like to do the same, Links for this photo will be found in the description below. And there you have it. How to use the background eraser tool in Photoshop to remove backgrounds from your images, allowing you to save them as transparent files or even place new backgrounds behind them. Like and subscribe and ring the little bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. 
All of the photographs we've used today can be found in the description below, along with a link to Pixel Surplus. Pixel Surplus is home to free fonts, textures, mockups, and so much more, as well as the best font bundles on the internet. Premium fonts at 90% off. Like, I don't know what else to say. You need to get over there right now and check it out. Thanks, and have a great day, everyone.